So um, this is a K4 that I opened up because it had some bad keys and I'm hoping I can restore this. Uh, there's a section of bad keys right around here and actually if you look closely you can see that it looks like there's some sort of uh, some dirt or gunk around here. So I think at some point the prior owner must have spilled some, I don't know, soup or beer or whatever, but you can kind of see there's some stains in there. So I'm going to clean this up, basically put the thing back together and I'm hoping that that's all it takes. So just to recap though, if you've ever been in a situation where you need to open this thing up, it's actually pretty simple. This bottom piece is held together by a number of different screws. You can pretty much unscrew them, every last one of them, and you'll need to in order to detach. Well, I guess there's some in the center ones. Yeah, no, you have to do them all. And once you do that, it just comes right off. And it's not wired or attached to anything that's actually part of the synthesizer itself. So that's good. You don't have to worry about breaking something accidentally when you open it up. Um, this is where the board is. I know there's a battery in here. I'm probably gonna open this up and change out the uh, backup battery. Thankfully, unlike many synthesizers, um, of this era, it's user replaceable. It's not like it's got one of those welded on 2032 batteries. So I will change it with a new one just to be safe. Um, and that's it. So yeah, anyway, hopefully that helps anyone who ever needs to service these, you just get in there and clean up the gunk and then reinsert. So.